In this video, I'm gonna show you a very simple five-man pressure. It's really simple to set up, but this pressure is very, very effective, specifically against the gun bunch, and it's very effective against the gun bunch max protect offense. When they block the running back and they block the tight end, you're still gonna guarantee yourself pressure, which is one of the real great features of the nickel 335 odd. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I post new videos like this every single day that can help you get better at Madden. We try to get better at Madden every single day. We lab the crap out of this game, trying to find blitzes, trying to find money plays, trying to find route combos and concepts that you can take online and be very, very effective with. So if you want to get my full nickel 335 odd defensive ebook, I released a full nickel 335 odd defensive guide earlier on in the season, and it is still very, very good. We've committed to updating that guide for the dur duration of the Madden 22 season. So anything that changes, any, any any adjustments we need to make, we've already put those in the guide for you, and those will continue to update. So if you want to get my full nickel 335 odd defensive ebook, it is on sale in the description of this video. You can go click that link in the description that I put down there. It'll take you right over to the website where you can get the full uh, defensive ebook for just 15 bucks. Now, the play that we're going to be using is the Sam Mike 3. Um, this is really one of my, this is probably my favorite play in Madden uh, right now because of how consistent this really is. So, uh, the setup is really simple. All we're going to do is we're going to globally spread our defense. Okay, so what that does is it spreads your linebackers, it spreads your defensive line, and it backs off your coverage. So what we need to do is we need to bring our corners back in so that they can play any underneath route. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to then show blitz. As you can see here, it's going to kind of stack these linebackers really nicely for us. And then we still have this great, uh, this great leverage on both sides where we can blitz a slot corner or we can blitz a linebacker depending on the situation. The last adjustment that we need to make is we're going to go ahead and crash or slant our defensive line to the right. As you can see here, it's going to create this little look right here. And that's pretty much it. We're done. And what you're going to see here is against nobody blocking, we're going to we're just going to get five man pressure. It's five man on three on five, and we're going to get one free. But where this blitz really takes off is what it does whenever our opponent starts to block people. For example, I'll show you one more time without him blocking anyone. And that time it actually got picked up, ironically. Now, if you're ever struggling with the blitz, the if you're ever struggling with the blitz, try to crash your line down. That will help as well. So you see right, right here, I'm crashing my line down. And what you'll see is more, it's just more consistent. It's just a little bit more consistent. So it, it, it sometimes slanting to the right, sometimes crashing down, you know, and, and, and again, you can do either one. Uh, so again here, we're just going to use this guy. And as you see, um, we're able to come in. Now where this blitz really, really, really shines is what it does against a blocked running back or a blocked tight end. So I'm going to block my running back here. And again, we're just going to do our, we're going to press after we spread, and then we're going to crash our line down. I want you to watch what this does against a blocked running back. We absolutely scream off the left edge. We come in every single time untouched off of the left edge when they block a running back. Well, okay, so now a lot of people, what they're going to do in bunch is if they if their blocked running back doesn't work, they're going to delay fade a tight end. So how does this blitz work if they delay fade a tight end? Well, I'm glad you asked. You're going to see here, we're going to continue to get good pressure if they delay fade a tight end. So they're not going to be able to pick up the pressure even if they delay fade a tight end. And I'll show it to you one more time. So again, I'm going to delay fade a tight end. And as you see, we're coming right through the B gap, untouched with great pressure. Now, what happens if, say, I, uh, I want to go ahead and max protect. So I'm going to block my tight end and I'm going to block my running back. Well, at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is we're going to, that's actually the worst protection of all three. That's why I love this blitz. That is the worst protection of all three. And I think that is absolutely insane. Let me show you again. I'm going to block both the tight end and the running back. And at the snap, you're going to see that that left side linebacker is going to consistently come in free every single time against max protect. It does not matter if they slide, it does not matter if they ID, it does not matter if they double team, it does not matter what they do, you will guarantee yourself pressure specifically against max protect gun bunch, which in my opinion is absolutely huge. We're only sending five. We're only sending five people at the quarterback. And uh, I'm going to show you in a second what else we can do from this. But what makes this blitz so good is, number one, it's really simple. Number two, you're only sending five. 
And number three, it's consistent against Max Protect. I think that's insane. You're going to guarantee yourself pressure with this Blitz. It's the best Blitz in the game, in my opinion, because of how consistent it is against nobody blocking, a blocked running back, a blocked tight end, or a Max Protect setup. Uh, this is a great, great Blitz, in my opinion. Like I said, the best thing that they can do to pick this up, honestly, is not block anybody. That's the best chance they're going to have at picking this up. And that's obviously not going to work. Like if they, if they don't block anybody, you're going to get pressure out of this. As you can see right here, we're getting very consistent edge pressure if they don't block anybody. So the pressure is super consistent. Now I want to show you something else you can do with this. You can drop this guy on the backside. So if you want to create a Mabel concept, I can drop that guy right there. Now let me show you against max protect. The beauty is look at that. Everybody's coming free. Still, we can still drop off of this and only send four against max protect. Now you might be saying, well, what about sending three? Can we just send three people and get pressure against max protect? Well, let me show you what you can do here. I'm only going to send three people. And as you see against max protect, this blitz comes in completely free. You're only sending three people and you are getting instant pressure against Max Protect uh, Gun Bunch, one of the best pass protection schemes in the entire game. Occasionally, every now and then, they will pick up the three-man pressure, but I will tell you that it is not very it is not very likely that they will pick it up. To be honest with you, in game, it's very much more consistent than this, but as you can see, um, that time they did get us, they did pick us up, but I mean, guys, you're only sending three people. That's what makes the three, three, five odds. So good is that you can send two, three people and get consistent pressure against situations like gun bunch, max protect. And that to me is absolutely insane. As you can see, this blitz is so consistent and it just does its job. It puts pressure on the quarterback, which is what you need to be able to do in Madden 22 if you're going to have success on the defensive side of the ball. And so if you enjoyed this blitz, and you would like to learn my entire nickel 335 odd defensive scheme, I'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video. It's on sale for just $15. Literally, all you have to do to get the entire defense is just head on down to the description, click that link that I put down there. It'll take you right over to the website where you can get the full defense for just 15 bucks.